Hey everyone, this is your boy DJ Cool Thing. Welcome to another video. And this video was inspired by my DJ update for March of 2020. So this video is basically a follow-up video to my DJ update for March of 2020. And this video has some comments on it where it says your audio needs work on. You need a new camera. I don't need a new camera. I'm good to go with what I have. Try going to Z Zounds. You can finance with little down and 0% interest. Go with QSC if you want. Try the Maui 28G2s. Fast setup and the sound is compatible with others in its price range. And it says here, the sound is very important for pro DJs such as yourself. I'm nowhere near a professional DJ. I'm an intermediate DJ where I have the gig experience to be an intermediate DJ. And my skills are basically at the still at the beginner level because my skills haven't really progressed in the last couple of years. I haven't, I haven't been practicing. I've been getting my music ready. So my skills haven't been really getting better in the last couple of years but they need to. So we'll probably do that on weekends. On weekends, like Saturday and, yeah, on Saturdays, we we'll probably um, do some practicing, but I'm nowhere near a professional DJ. Some of the remixes that you hear in my DJ gig logs, like the um, DJ gig log for River Oaks Elementary School, those were pre-recorded mixes from BPM Supreme from other DJs, from other DJ producers. And I just play them in my software and I just play one after the other. So I'm nowhere near a professional DJ. I mean, I still have a two channel controller, the Pioneer DDJ SR2. And of course we got a Lifetime 4428 table. We got a Dragon Front Boards facade. We got the, um, Mad Owl, uh, all-in-one park hands. I get controlled by remote control. We got the Ion Total P Maxes. We got the Monster Audio Rock and Roll 3 for cocktail and for dinner music. And the church, you know, the church I go to, as you can see, there's the one of the church right here, Beach Church. It, it, they'll provide the ceremony speaker. So I'm nowhere near a professional DJ at all because I don't do clubs. I don't do weddings on a daily basis. I don't do school gigs on a daily basis. On a, Mostly on a daily basis, I'm doing church gigs. I'm basically doing it for free because they are my church and I do so much for them volunteering. And it's, it's all part of my volunteer work, DJing at their events for free. So... I'm spending almost $50 a month on Disney Plus, Hulu, BPM Supreme, and Tidal. It's just insane. And that's why I don't have any money to pay for new equipment because I'm always paying for all these services. Disney, um, yeah, Disney Plus, Hulu, um, BPM Supreme, Tidal. And two of those services I need for my DJ business, Tidal for song requests. And also BPM Supreme for my music library, my local music library. So I'm just paying for all these services. I don't have enough money to pay for DJ equipment. And with the money I do get paid, it goes towards all those services for almost $50 a month for you know every service combined. The Monster Audio Rock and Roll 3, it still works. And I'm going to be using it for... So for a cocktail and for uh, dinner music because I'm putting it on the porch and that porch is kind of a medium-sized porch and these will be good for a medium-sized setup like in uh, the village house at Litchfield. The village house at Litchfield is not a really huge venue so it doesn't need very powerful speakers so the Ion Total PM Axis are good to go for right now even in a barn um, that I'll be doing a, another wedding for in October for a friend of mine, the Ion Total P Maxes are good to go for that. 
So I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm in no rush to get new DJ equipment. I'm in no rush. I mean, if I have to use the Ionto P Maxes for another year or so, then I will. I mean, if I have to use the Monster Audio Rock and Roll 3, I would. And I'm kind of thankful for what I got. And whatever I have gets the job done just perfectly. And I'm just going to, you know, ha I'm just going to use the stuff that I have. And I'm going to make use of the stuff that I have in my DJing setup. Like the SR2, the table, the tabletop facade, the all-in-one par cans, and my low-cost wireless microphones from Toner and Hotech. The Ionto, the Ionto P Maxis, the Monster Audio Rock and Roll 3, the ADJ Light Bar with my, my uh, Mad Owl Par Cans. And all of you are telling me what to get, and I'm in no, in, I mean, I'm in no rush to get new speakers anytime soon. I'm still good with the Ion Total PA Max speakers. Especially with this guy, your audio needs work on. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Those speakers sound pretty decent for the size and for the price. Those things were almost 200 bucks. And I kind of do like the Ion Topia Maxes. They have the connectivity that I need for my controller and they sound pretty decent, especially for the size of venues that we have here in South Carolina which are like very small venues. And as far as QSCs are concerned, um, I probably will think about QSCs in the next couple of years or maybe even in the next year. I don't know. Um, but it's not going to be anytime soon. Um, the Maui 28G2s, um, I probably will look at them and see how much they are. If they're in the thousands, then I'm going to then I'm going to get, I'm just not, I'm just going to skip over them and just go towards ones that are cheaper and easy to afford. And it says here, sound is very important for pro DJs such as yourself. I'm not a professional DJ. How many times am I going to say that? I'm not a professional DJ in any means. I mean, my skills are awful and I play the entire song, basically an iPod DJ. For that reason alone, you should go with a far better speaker, which will give you far better sound. I'm not looking to upgrade the sound quality. I'm still good on the Ion Total P Maxes. They sound really good for the price. I mean, if they still if they still work, then why not? Why should I upgrade if they still work and they still sound really decent? I mean, they don't sound blown or anything, which is a good thing because they're still relatively new speakers. And I haven't really used them all that much, so I guess because I don't really do that many gigs per year. My gigs per year aren't that good, so I don't really have much experience as a DJ, so I'm nowhere near a professional DJ. To become a professional DJ, I gotta do this full time and have a gig every single week, which I don't. I mean, it's so early in the game. Yeah, it's so early with doing DJ gigs. I haven't done a DJ gig since February, so um, I'm nowhere near a professional DJ. I guess because I don't have the experience to become a professional DJ, I don't have the skills to become a professional DJ. And yeah, uh, I'm still good with the Ion Total PA Maxes, the Monster Audio Rock and Roll 3 for cocktail and for dinner music, and of course, my two-channel SR2, my all-in-one par cans, my wireless and my cheap but easy to afford wireless mic system from Toner, the Hotec wireless mic, uh, wireless lapel mic, and and for ceremony, the church is actually handling the speaker. We're actually gonna get the speaker from the church, from Beach Church, from upstairs in the uh, Adventure Beach building, and then you know take it to the to the wedding venue. So we'll be using that speaker for ceremony. I mean, we pretty much got everything covered. So yeah, and as far as getting, you know, new gear, 
I'm sticking with what I got right now, which is the Ion P Max is the Monster Audio Rock and Roll Three. My two channel, uh, all uh, my two channel SR two, my Dragon Front Boards facade, my tabletop facade from Dragon Front Boards, the Lifetime forty four twenty eight table, and some cheap and easy to uh, to afford XLR cables, and my wireless handheld mics, and my Hotec wireless lapel mic, and my lighting stand from ADJ, the LTS-6, and the all-in-one park hands. I'm sticking with all that gear for right now because there's no need to upgrade anytime soon. And I'm, I'm going to take it slow when it comes to upgrades because there's no point of upgrading those, that, or the controller, or the table, or the facade, or anything else. I'm still good to go on that. So, yeah, I have no reason to upgrade my entire setup anytime soon. So, yeah, I'm nowhere near a professional DJ. So, yeah, this video is basically a follow-up video on my DJ update video from March of 2020 that I did earlier today. And, yeah, I'm still pretty good on my DJ stuff, on my DJ setup. I mean, the setup is complete. The only thing I need to focus on is my library, keeping it up to date. So we're still good on that. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick little video, uh, this quick little follow-up on the DJ update from March of 2020 and telling you guys why I'm, no why I'm nowhere near the professional status as a DJ. Um, first one is my mixing skills are not that good. I don't have enough gig experience of becoming a professional DJ. And, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of things that need to be worked on before I become a professional DJ. I mean, I'm still using low-cost... DJ gear, which gear doesn't really matter as long as I get the right DJ gear that will work best for me, which I actually did with the Ion P Maxes and the Monster Audio Rock and Roll 3, which is, which is my first ever um, DJ speaker for house parties and cocktail and dinner music, my Lifetime 4428 table, my Dragon Front Boards with Sun, the American DJ LTS 6 light bar, which holds four park hands, which are these things right here, the only one bad owl park hands, and my toner TW820 wireless microphones, the TW820s, and the Hotec wireless lapel mic, and some cheap, inexpensive XLR cables, and everything else that I need. So I'm nowhere near a professional DJ. So I guess that's why. I have no reason to upgrade because my status isn't really there yet as a professional DJ. So uh, I'm still an intermediate DJ. So I'm between the beginner stage and the intermediate stages of being a DJ. Because I, I have enough experience to become an intermediate DJ. And my skills are still at the beginner level where I'm still learning how to mix properly. I'm learning how to beat match and everything. I'm still learning a lot of stuff with Serato and for DJ Pro 2 by Algorithm and all the DJ software that I use. And when when I do do a DJ gig, I'm mostly playing music all the way through. So I haven't really mastered mixing yet. Like mixing properly, so... And it says to use the Maui Go 5s for ceremony and um, cocktail. I'm actually not going to do that right now. And when I do do ceremony for my second wedding, I'm going to use the Ion P Max and bring it, you know, over by the ceremony, you know, where the ceremony is going to be taking place and use that for, um, for ceremony. And as far as um, the reception is concerned, just to unhook the Ion Total PA Max and boom, bring it back into the setup and we're good to go. So I have no reason to upgrade the speakers or anything anytime soon. 
I mean, I'm just getting something to add to the setup, and that is a Bluetooth transmitter. It's, you know, it's affordable, it's easy, yeah, it's easy to afford, it's cheap, and it gets good range for over 400 feet, which uh, this speaker is going to be less than 400 feet away, or maybe even less than 300 feet away from my DJ setup. Or maybe even less than 100 feet away. It's going to be at least a few feet away, and we'll be good to go on that. It's going to have a nice stable connection, and we're good to go on that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you can get notified every time I upload a new video, which will be coming up this Saturday. We have an unboxing video of the... What was it? What was that? Oh, um... So yeah, this Saturday we have an unboxing of my brand new Bluetooth transmitter from, let me find the brand here, from Micus. The Micus Proben 300 feet long range Bluetooth transmitter. So be sure to look out for a video on Saturday of the unboxing of the Bluetooth transmitter 300 foot from Micus. Because I heard that... Um, that particular transmitter is pretty good. It gets over 400 feet of range when it's in sight. Because there was this one YouTuber who actually measured at least 400, over 400 feet of range of that um, transmitter. So we're pretty much good to go on that. So hope you guys enjoyed it. <clears throat> Man, sorry, my voice is cracking. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment on it. Give a, give a pos uh, positive comment. And make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get not notified every time I upload a brand new video. Till next time, DJ Cool Thing out.